I'm Dala. And after watching that segment, you might have already guessed that we're installing a tow bar on this leaf. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to get the car up in the air. It's only important to get the backside up. Uh, we're going to be working underneath the car, so always use jack stands. So the first thing you want to remove is this big plastic shield underneath the car. It's held on with a few clips along with some uh, 10 millimeter bolts around the edges. So I'm going to be removing this piece to start with. So here are all the fasteners and uh, as you can see I managed to uh, break quite a few. But uh, I got it out and uh, at the same time I seem to have gotten a few kilograms of mud as well. So I'm gonna drag this out and uh, pressure wash it. Welcome underneath the rusty beast. Uh, so now with the splash shield removed we have a clear view of what we're gonna be dismantling next. So that is this uh, original uh, like tow hook and uh, in order to do that uh, you need to get these three bolts out. However, it's quite tight to get them from this side with the rear bumper still attached because that's like blocking it. So you can choose to either uh, suffer or to take out the rear bumper. I have already done one vehicle where I, I actually removed the bumper, so now I think I'm gonna try to, yeah, just snake this one out. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so this sh shot better illustrates what I mean. I can only reach one of the three bolts this way. So yeah, if you're doing this the first time, maybe maybe take out the rear bumper. It's much easier. But anyway. Whew. I really put the impact to the test there, but I was able to get all three bolts out with this one. Uh, luckily this uh, this is kind of short, so it was possible to sneak it up here uh, without removing the bumper. So yeah, now that this side is free, we can uh, put in the tow bar and check where we need to drill new holes. Because yeah, Nissan only put holes on this uh, right side, so we need to drill out holes on the left side. Fun! So this is the receiver and like I mentioned uh, the only bolts that will fit are the ones on the right side. So I will be using a jack to lift it up into position and I will fasten the bolts on the right just temporarily and then I can mark up where I need to drill holes in the chassis rail for these ones to attach. Now I'm gonna lift it into place and um, while I'm doing this I might mention that this is a whole lot easier if you have friends that can help you during this stage but I don't have that luxury so I'm doing this solo so wish me luck! Okay so the tow bar is in place and uh, now we can get to drilling. Uh, luckily my uh, Milwaukee tools are quite short so I'm gonna attempt to drill these holes through the chassis rail uh, all without removing the bumper here. Uh, but if you don't have that luxury to have good tools that are narrow, then remove the bumper. But let's get to drilling. Okay, just to illustrate how fun this is, I have uh, successfully drilled the pilot holes from the left side. And once you get them all the way here, you can then switch sides. But this is this is really tricky to do without removing the bumper, so yeah, I really recommend that you remove this piece. Uh, you can also see here that to get these holes to go straight through the chassis rails, I had to bash uh, this uh, end bracket thingy here and make it yeah a bit straighter so that I could get the drill to sit flush. But yeah, tons of fun, really hard to film. I will continue. Okay, so I gave up and I called a friend. So uh, now all the holes are drilled and we are trying to see if we can uh, get this to fit. Right now it's not cooperating, but we'll see in a few minutes. So one thing that is really important that I have to mention is that although we have uh, it fastened, we still have to do 
uh, a precision tightening according to the like specification these bolts call for 65 newton meters of force and another thing that is really important is that you have to do a retightening after driving 1000 kilometers so very important stuff that you definitely don't want to miss so i'm just gonna set this torque wrench to 65 and hit the bolts with it okay so the tow bar is mostly in place and before i install the splash shield again i'm gonna pull this uh, trailer wiring harness up into the boot i'm just gonna use a pre-existing grommet here and if i don't find anyone i'll make a new one and I did find a suitable grommet, so yeah, this is my go-to. But we'll talk more about the wiring soon. Okay, so here's the splash shield, and in order to make it fit, you have to do some uh, uh, modifications. You have to cut out this section, and uh, it's all stated here in the manual what to cut and how to measure. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so I got the splash shield back, but uh, some of the clips uh, or the bolts were so rusty that I had to replace them with uh, zip ties. So that is a really good tip if uh, you can't be bothered to source the correct replacement bolts because yeah, you, then you have to pay Nissan prices etc. But yeah, zip ties, they are your friends. Okay, now we're at the really satisfying part and that is to actually mount the tow bar. So this one is a quick removable tow bar, it's just this plastic piece that goes here. And uh, this one is equipped with a key, so that you can remove it if you want. And I'm just gonna slot it in, and BAM! Uh, there's this little green indicator here that the, the thing is locked, and in case you want to remove it, just insert the key, turn it and yeah, remove it. But this one, it's on. Now we can continue with the electrical. Okay, so all the cables that you need to complete this are uh, tucked behind the tail lights. So I simply unbolted this one in order to figure out which wire was which and I turned the, the car on. And uh, or let me just zoom in on this. The end result is that you need to tap into three different wires on the left side. Uh, they are all green. Uh, I won't be making a super detailed tutorial on this, you can kind of figure it out on your own very easily. But uh, I just put some shrink wrap over this. Uh, that takes care of uh, the lighting and the braking and the left turn signal. But you also need to go to the other side to this light in order to get the right turn signal. But that's about it. And voila, the car is done. I'm just gonna drive it out and take it for a spin.